Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, join my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain the differences between chemical and physical changes. So, so let's, let's do, do this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain the difference between a chemical and a physical change. When a piece of paper is cut in half, its shape is changed without any change in the composition or makeup of the piece of paper. This is just a physical change. However, when an egg is boiled, the iron in the egg yolk reacts with the hydrogen sulfide to form iron sulfide. This leads to the yolk turning color from yellow to green and the white of the egg remaining the same. This is a type of chemical change. We know it's a chemical change because we cannot turn the now green yolk back into yellow yolk. Let's dive even deeper into the differences between chemical and physical changes. We'll start off first with physical changes. As an ice cube melts, its shape changes as more heat is added to it. This now gives it the ability to flow. However, its composition or what it is made of does not change. Melting is an example of a physical change. A physical change is a change to a sample of matter in which some properties of the material change, but the identity of the matter or what it is made of does not change. Physical changes can further be classified as reversible or irreversible. Let's first start off with reversible physical changes. A reversible physical change can be changed back to its original form. This melted ice cube may be refrozen, so melting is a reversible physical change. Physical changes that involve a change of state of matter are all reversible. Other changes in the state of matter include vaporization or boiling from a liquid to a gas when more heat is added, freezing from a liquid to a solid when heat is taken away, and condensation going from a gas to a liquid when more heat is removed. Dissolving is a reversible physical change. When salt is dissolved into water, the salt is said to have entered the aqueous or liquid state. We can tell that this is a physical change because when you boil all of the water, the salt is left behind. Notice that the salt is able to reform and has not changed into a new substance. It is still salt. Now let's move on to irreversible physical changes. An irreversible physical change is a physical change that still keeps all of its qualities of the original substance but cannot be changed back into the form that it started with. When a piece of wood is grounded into sawdust, that change is irreversible since the sawdust cannot be reconstructed or turned back into the same piece of wood that it was before. Cutting the grass or pulverizing a rock would be other irreversible physical changes. Firewood also represents an irreversible physical change since the pieces cannot be combined to form a tree. Notice that in all of these scenarios, the substances still remain the same. The grinding up wood is still wood, the cut grass is still grass, and the cut of firewood is still firewood, but they have been reduced into much smaller pieces that cannot be changed back into their larger original forms. Let's move on to chemical changes. A chemical change occurs whenever matter changes into an entirely different substance with different chemical properties. A chemical change is also called a chemical reaction. For example, Many complex chemical changes occur to produce explosions of fireworks. The sound produced by the fireworks is due to the ignition or explosion of gunpowder. Colors in the fireworks are due to the presence of some chemicals such as potassium compounds that have purple color. In comparison, sodium compounds produce yellow-orange color in the explosion of fireworks. Notice that when fireworks go off, you cannot reverse the changes back into a firework. It is now changed into completely different substances that are irreversible. So what are some signs of chemical changes? That's a great question. Most chemical changes are not as dramatic as exploding fireworks, so how can you tell whether a chemical change has occurred? There are usually several clues. You need to know what to look for. A chemical change has probably occurred if bubbles are released, a change of color or an odor is produced as well. Other clues include the release of heat or light. I wonder if chemical changes can be reversed. Because chemical changes produce new substances, they often cannot be undone. For example, you can't change the ashes from burning logs back into the wood it started off as. Some chemical changes can be reversed, but only by other chemical changes. For example, to undo tarnish on copper pennies, you can place them into vinegar. The acid in the vinegar combines the copper oxide of the tarnish. This changes the copper oxide to copper and oxygen, making the pennies reddish brown again. You can try this at home to see how well it works. In summary, a physical change is a change to a sample of matter in which some properties of the material change, but the identity or the type of substance the matter is does not change. 
A physical change can be reversible where the original form of the matter can be restored like putting Play-Doh that was pulled apart back together or irreversible where the original form cannot be restored like grinding salt down into a powder form. Melting ice and grinding wood into sawdust are other examples of physical changes. A chemical change occurs whenever matter changes into an entirely different substance with different chemical properties. Anytime something is burning is an example of a chemical change, like burning a piece of paper. Signs of a chemical change include the release of bubbles, a change of color, the production of an odor, and the release of heat and light. Because chemical changes result in different substances, they often cannot be undone. Some chemical changes can be reversed though, but only by other chemical changes. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between a chemical change and a physical change by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep going, going because it's not over until, until you win. win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us for more awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come.